what's up guys, I'm Tom Nick here, and welcome back to another episode of Splatoon 2. Today we're going to be doing some rank battles, uh, mainly because I've been doing a lot of turf wars with uh, the weapon reviews that I've been doing, and also the splat fest, so haven't really been able to show off uh, rank battles. So um, overall, as you can see, um, I used to be an A+, but I went back down to A because... Usually my team does pretty bad, but um, yeah, I'm an A plus for um, for tower control. I'm actually an S rank for um, Rainmaker, and um, as you can see, the weapon that I'm using is a Jet Squelcher. I like to use it a lot because it has good range. Um, but for Rainmaker, for some reason, I actually like using the Octo Brush a bit better because I like getting up in people's faces and just like slicing them up with the Octo Brush. But, um, yeah, also some cool things that, uh, happened when, um, I wasn't showing off Splatoon 2 was, um, data miners were actually able to, um, find out all the new weapons that are gonna come out, which is pretty cool. Um, like I said, I like the, uh, Jet Squelcher, but the custom Jet Squelcher, um, it's not so good. I think it has the Burst Bombs, which are good, but I think the Special I don't really like. I think it's either the Stingray, maybe the Inkjet, I don't really know. I don't really like either of those, but, um, yeah, I mean, even though the sub is good, Burst Bombs is good because with close ring combat with the, uh, uh, Jet Squelcher, it's pretty bad, but if you have Burst Bombs, it can help you out a bit. So, um, yeah, we're gonna try and get to, uh, A plus rank again with all the Jet Squelcher here. I like to go throw in a, uh, wow, okay, they're already in control. Um, Oh god, of course. I like to throw in a uh, Toxic Mist once or twice a game. Just to try and slow down the opponent and try and make them not get in the splat zone or in the uh, tower control. Because like Toxic Mist can be uh, really good for both of those. For both tower control and for splat zones because of the small area that you're usually at. So, yeah, that's why I like it. Uh, I could have gotten all four of those guys, but I just went a bit too fast there. Alright, at least we're taking the lead. Uh, shoot, tons of missiles. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, yep, we got hit there. I can outrange everyone here, but I just have to know when to space myself and when to uh, go in, you know? It's kind of hard to do that, too. Alright, let's try and get these guys. I'll try and be your... Oh, come on. Try and be your uh, spacer, I guess. Alright, there we go. Oh, no. oh, come on. There we are. At least I killed someone there. I don't know what my team's doing, but... Actually, I think we're down, teammate. Yeah. We don't have a flingser roller anymore, so... <laughs> that's the reason why we're losing. Of course. You know, I never I never have a good team. It's, it's, always, the, it's always the case. Oh, wait, never mind. Okay, we do have a flingser roller. I thought he was gone gone for quite a bit and uh, looks like we lost this great love my team I love them anyway um also data miners found that uh there's an octo brush nueva or however you pronounce it which like I said I like using the octo brush for rain maker but um I don't think the octo brush nueva is gonna be as good because I think it has the I think it's tenta missiles and the squid beacon which um I don't mind the Tenta Missiles, the Tenta Missiles are pretty good, but um, Squid Beacon, I don't know, I feel like the Octobrush, because it has limited range, I feel like it should have something to um, increase its range, and that's why I love the Auto Bombs so much, because with the Octobrush and Auto Bombs, you have that range and that power to push your opponent back, because that Auto Bomb will usually will follow the opponent, and the opponent will fall back, so... That's why I like the uh, Octo Brush so much, but the Octo Brush Nueva, um, as it said in the Data Miners uh, data, um, it has a Squid Beacon and the Tenta Missiles, which both really don't have that much range. I mean, the Tenta Missiles have unlimited range, but like, it's not really something that you, I guess, attack with. It's kind of, I guess, it's kind of, it's like the Auto Bombs where your opponent will start moving because of it, and they have to move or else they will die. So, I mean, I guess it can be useful in some senses, but, um, 
Oh god, I didn't see any, that guy. But, um, yeah, overall, um, I don't really like the, uh, custom weapons. Alright, nice, kill that guy. Can I kill this guy? Or, okay, my teammates will. At least I, uh, where is he? Alright, there he is. Um, at least my, uh, teammates kill him. I got an assist, though. So, yeah, even though my aim is pretty bad, I'm actually pretty good with aiming with, uh, the Jess Quilter here, which is kind of surprising. Like I said, my aim is pretty bad. Oh, God. Uh, we gotta get away from the Stingray. Yeah, this is why the Stingray is bad. Just, like, you're not really doing... Oh, God, the baller. Alright, the baller could be good. Like, especially if you have, like, the baller. If the baller was with the Inkbrush, uh, Nueva, or however you pronounce it, like I said, that would be good because you'd be able to get up in their faces and be able to, um get up and just slice them apart especially if like the ink brush had it too because of its ink speed if you're able to just be a baller and be able to get close to your opponent and then the ball breaks or even if it explodes you're still close to your opponent and be able to slice them up so i feel like those would be good like the baller wouldn't be that good for like um like long range combat like if the baller was for the uh jet sculpture i feel like it wouldn't be that good because you would you really have to get up close to your opponent or get up close to like a splat zone or some area like that in order to actually make it useful and so with close range combat with that with like a jet sculpture for the a charger weapon the baller would not be good um anyway also data miners found that uh the dually squelchers actually look really good they um have the splat bomb and the ink armor and ink armor is probably my favorite special in the game so far because in my opinion, the specials aren't really that good, to be honest. I don't find them that useful as in the first game. But, um, you know, maybe that will change with the uh, new special that we haven't been able to see yet, which is the bubble, the bubble ball or whatever it's called. I forget what its full name is, but it's like the bubble bowler or something like that. I have to refill my ink here. Uh, let's try and kill this girl. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I like to use the tent of missiles to like get snipers out of here and then be able to move in close. Alright, that guy is trying to run away. Hopefully alright, nice teammate got him. And uh I almost got hit by that bomb there. I was like in the air and I was like too far in the air to actually get damage from that. Alright, I'm gonna try oh god, they're in control. Alright, there we go. Nice, nice tent of missile there. I was I could I could have actually probably targeted all four of them, but instead I was only able to get three. I saw someone over there using a splashdown for no reason. It's another bad special, but if you use it uh, for super jump, it can be good. All right, kill another person there. Um, surprisingly, I actually played with uh, Obi Wan plays, which um, if you guys don't know, he's a YouTuber that um, he uh, he doesn't really have that many subs. He's not that popular, but he does have a good amount. I think he has like 50,000 maybe or 45,000. And um, I played against him actually quite a few times because he's in, uh, or he was in A plus rank, but now I think he's um, in uh, S rank and everything. But um, I mean, I'm close to him and he's actually, I played against him multiple times, like I said. And okay, we're destroying these guys now. My team's doing good. I'm doing good too. And, uh, yeah, I think after this match, we will definitely be able to, um, this is a bad sniper, by the way. He's really bad. Alright, hopefully I can, uh, oh, I didn't even see this guy. Oh, God. Didn't even see that guy. I don't really understand why people use a slew schematic, because, like, like I said in my, my Dapple Dooley's, uh, video review, it's basically, the Dapple Dooley's were basically the, uh, the um what's it called the dapple dualies were basically the uh slushomatic but instead you have i feel like a faster fire rate than the slushomatic and um also you have their dualies so you can dodge too and um i feel like the special and sub are also better because you have a squid beacon and the um uh, the burst bomb or not the burst bomb the uh 
bomb rush of uh, splat bombs, which is really good. All right, we lost control. Got to dodge those tent of missiles. Ah, they got me. It was like 3v1, so... <laughs> team just got killed, and I tried to... Really, what are you doing? Come on. It always happens to me. There's always, like, some guy who's, uh... Like, not playing or something like that. Can I reach this girl who's just... Throwing splat bombs. Oh, God. He, she's targeting me. Surprisingly, I... Uh, was able to actually dodge that. I don't know how. I guess because he's a bad sniper, but overall we did pretty good. Oh, okay. I see you. Trying to snipe me. Trying to bait me, kind of. Gave me a super jump and then just um, and then just trying to snipe me because of it. Because like, I feel like sometimes having not having stealth jump could actually work to your advantage because then you'll have people that are like um trying to get you because of um you see like the super jump and because of that your teammates can just go ahead and help you and um be able to avenge you and stuff so it can actually work out but um we actually won that nice we got a KO bonus too and I think because of this, we actually got back in A+. And the only reason that I went back down to A was because I only lost, like, four battles, and every time it cracked. Like, if you don't know, the new, like, ranking, or, like, the new, um, like, I guess the new bar, or ranking bar, I don't know what you want to call it, but the new way to rank up is, like, this bar, and it's, there's a halfway point, which doesn't is not a halfway point like if you pull out a ruler which I don't know why you would have because like like why would you have a ruler but if you look on the screen that is not the halfway mark that is definitely not the halfway mark that little line right there that's your okay mark of um, being staying in that rank so if you lose um, it's it depends on how many times you lose but like you can lose like a bunch of times but if you get four cracks you um go back down to like the okay mark or you go down a rank if you didn't make the okay mark which is apparently the halfway mark as uh the game calls it even though it's definitely not but um yeah so you have that and if you make it you get to stay in that um in that rank but if you don't you uh and you get four cracks and it just depends on like if the game likes you or not basically because you can have like you can lose a bunch of times but there'll be certain times where you will not like crack or anything like the game will be nice or the game will be mean depending on whether you um like it or not I guess alright so we're doing good again it's just a sniper like the sniper is just like hey I'm just bad at sniping <laughs> alright we got a tri sister guy here they can be annoying a little bit. Apparently it's the best weapon in the game, many people say. But, um, I mean, I kind of agree, I guess, because you do have the, um, you do have the ink armor, and, I mean, to sluice your weapon overall is pretty good. Ah, you got me. So, yeah, I can outrange, I think I can outrange a .96 gal. But I can't outrange the sniper guy. Even though he's pretty bad in my opinion. But I kind of hate when uh, people have the same weapon as you. Even though this girl is on my team and she has the same weapon. If it's someone that's not on the same... That's on the other team. It can be really annoying because... It's just... A fair battle mainly. There's no advantages or disadvantages from you or your teammate. Or at least I killed that guy. I kill this guy. Nice. Alright, both of them. Good. Alright, let's go avenge and... Yep, get in control. Nice. Got sniped. Okay. I don't know if this is the same sniper. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not the same sniper. The other one had a... Uh, fire fin spire shot or whatever. Because he had the unlimited suction bombs. Or the bomb rush suction bombs. I like to call it unlimited uh, bombs. But it's just bomb rush. 
Alright, this guy is trying to push me back. Oh god, okay. Uh, There we go, perfect. Oh wait, I guess that one guy died so I wasn't able to get more uh, ammo, I guess. Ah oh, man, it got me with that. Those bombs, he like places them so well. Yeah, Technic Splatter Shot, or... I forget how you... I think it's Technic, or... Tenetic, or something like that. Tenetic, Splatter Shot, whatever it's called. It's pretty good. Um, like I said, I do like the... Uh, this, uh... Better, but... Still not a bad weapon, the other one. Alright, am I able to... Alright, I'll get the Sniper, because... He can be annoying, so, uh... Target those guys back in control nice oh man he got me there all right yeah 96 gal I think the 96 gal in uh, jet sculpture that I'm using has like a very little range difference and um, I don't really understand why you would do the point 96 gal because like for the point like 50 gal it's basically just the um oh god he got really Again with those splat bombs, he gets them perfectly. It's like he has aiming skills with those. Like, why can't you be on my team for um, salmon run or something to destroy those fly fish? It's annoying fly fish. All right, that guy's trying to target me. Yep, I saw that. An annoying inkjet guy. All right, anyone got like a limited or bomb rush? Anyone? All right, I got my. Oh God. Can I get anyone here? What the heck even happened? Oh, okay. Yeah, just come down here and attack me only. Just target me because I'm a distraction, basically. Like, I hate when people do that. They're like, oh, there's a guy down here. Uh, who cares about the splat zones? Let's just kill this guy. Like, no, just stop. But, like, at least it's in my favor because, like, I'm a distraction, I guess. So I can actually, um, be of somewhat use. Alright, nice. At least I killed a sp sniper there. But, of course, this Technic Spire Shard, T Tenetic Spire Shot, he's really good. I actually should friend him. I should probably do that, but... Yeah, there's actually a lot of good guys that I uh, play with, and I just... After the match, I'm just like, go to the home menu and just friend them, because I want to be friends with them and be able to play with them, even though I'm not really able to do that, because you can't do ranked battles with uh, friends. I mean, you can do league battles, but, like, I don't think you can do rank battles. Maybe you can, but, like, you have to be in the same rank. I don't know. Alright, so I'll do one more, and then, um, end the episode. But, um, uh, yeah, I'll probably do some more rank battles, um, on this channel. Probably do one of Tower Control and one of, uh, Rainmaker. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna add a new... Uh, ranked mode because like there's three slots in your uh, profile and it just looks weird and then there's like this one empty space um, and it, there's obviously got to be another mode for that empty space there so um, hopefully there'll be an update of that and also I m forgot to mention that uh, data miners also found some uh, stages that are coming back which um, are black belly skate park and kelp dome which are both pretty good stages. Um, I for one, I kind of wanted uh, Air Wanna Mall to come back, but I'd say um, I'd say the Reef is kind of actually not not the Reef. Uh, I forget the name of the stage, but one of the uh, stages is kind of similar to it. So I don't really want to come back that much, but still really like that stage. Like I was probably the best at that stage to be honest. All right, this guy's hunting me down yeah I think I was the reason why uh, they died because someone had a uh, someone had a uh, bomb rush of uh, curling bombs all right so we're doing pretty good right now let me go uh, Put some toxic mist there. Oh god, auto I can't even see these auto bombs. Yeah, so that's why the Octobrush is pretty good. Just throw an auto bomb. And most of the time you don't even see it too. Like it's 
not really that, like, well, it's pretty well hidden, I should say. Alright, well, I can outrange all these guys, so, uh, bring it on. Alright, well, I can't outrange an auto bomb, I guess. Alright, hopefully this will push them back. Got a bunch of Tenta missiles there. Alright, nice. Killed that guy. I don't even how. Alright, this guy's trying to shoot me down. Got them again. Alright, what's my team doing? Like, I'm doing all this hard work, but yet they're basically just doing nothing. There we go. Good job, guys. Shot two, uh, two, what are they called? Tenta missiles. Shot a guy out. Like, what else do you want? Now I'm messing up because of it. <laughs> Alright, so my team's getting good. Let me go throw a Toxic Mist there. Alright, another auto bomb. So annoying. Alright, let me see if I... Oh, I actually can hit that guy. Let's see. Another... Oh, oh my god, I was trapped there. Suction bomb on the left. And an auto bomb on the right. Like, how do these guys have that much ink? And really... Okay, guys, please get in control. We need it for two more seconds to get... A uh, uh, to get in the lead. Alright, kill that guy somehow. I'm not even aiming, I'm just shooting. Hopefully this, oh god. Hopefully this is a good tactic. I don't know if it is, but I'm trying my best still. Let me go up in this tower here. Oh, okay, I see you, I see you. Just trying to copy my plan, basically. Alright, let me try and get missiles again. Alright, I don't know why we're failing because like their their whole team's dead. What are we doing? What are you guys doing? Like are you guys trying to shoot down your special or get that your special again? Alright, let me go toxic mist there. Seemed to work out pretty good. Try and, oh god. Nice kill that guy. Refill my ink. Try and kill that guy. Alright, got the assist at least. But somehow died. I hate those curling bombs. Like, like they're basically just like... I don't even know how to describe them. They're like... They're like, uh, splat bombs. But yet they leave a trail, so they're better. I mean, I guess they have to... You have to hit them, like, at the end of the explosion to actually do anything. But, oh god... Alright, they're gonna try really hard to, uh, get back, um, to get the lead here. Hopefully we're gonna be able to stop them, though. Alright, that was a bad tense of missile there. Alright, wow, okay, they got the lead. No, come on. How are they not out of control? Are you kidding me? What is my team doing? They should have been out of control there. They're, they're, I can't even speak. I was probably the best in the lobby here, and yet my team just, cause that's what, I feel like that's what they do with A+. They just team you up with like some of the worst players, and then the other people are just like, okay. See, like, they had two A-plus guys. I was only one. I'm surprised I didn't do the best. I mean, I got six specials there. The most specials out of everyone, I think. Alright. At least we didn't get a crack, though. So, that's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes you get a crack. Sometimes you don't. Just completely based off of luck, which I really do hate. But, um... I mean, I guess sometimes it can work in your favor. Sometimes it can't. Anyway... That is Splatoon 2, um, Ranked Battles, Splat, phone, splat Zones to be specific. But um, yeah, so thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Splatoon 2 right here on Town Deck. Bye.